Hello to bros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alamin Drill. In this video I'm going to show you how to install a Tesla B100 on a desktop computer. Okay, the operating system is going to be uh, Windows but the same process is for Linux. And I have done a video in the past doing the same for a Tesla K80. So if you're interested in that, you can click on the top right of this screen or the video description below. The problem I have with this uh, with this card is that once I install it, I cannot see anything on the screen. So um, we're going to check what's going on. I'm going to disconnect it so you can see the connector type. And this is the connector that comes with all these Teslas. It's two to one because it consumes around 300 watts of power. So it requires a lot. Now I'm going to show you around my my desktop computer on which we are going to install this Tesla. And as you can see, this is uh, it's, it's on at the moment. You can see the processor at the top, which is AMD. If you have Intel, the process is the same. This is a gigabyte video card. This is my power supply, 650, which is a lot of juice for the Tesla. Well, we need a lot of juice for this um, Tesla card. So uh, as you can see, I have an extra a slot for a uh, for a card, for a video card. So that's where we're going to install the Tesla. Now, allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera and let's go to the monitor. Here, if, if I go to Device Manager, you can see that my NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 is being recognized by the, by the operating system. This one is Windows 11, by the way. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to shut down the machine, as you can see me doing right there. Uh, the screen is off and the lights are going to be off in a few more seconds as you can see right there so i'm going to disconnect it from the from the power you can see the cable over there and now what we're going to do is proceed installing the tesla so these uh, teslas are very very thick and they are kind of long now we are going to is the same connector to install it on the motherboard so no difference there and now allow me a few seconds to install it the process is pretty simple and now I'm going to connect uh, the power from the power supply to the video card. So you can see the connector that it uses, the BGA. Uh, this is the same that my or any other video card uses, but in this case we need two because it consumes 300 watts of power to operate. So now we're going to connect it, pretty simple to do it. Once we have done that, we are going to connect the power back to the power supply over there and next we're going to see the lights on the motherboard now we're going to turn on the machine as you can see it's working and as you can see uh, allow me for seconds to adjust my camera and this is the problem we can wait all the time here i waited like 10 15 minutes before doing this video but nothing is going to show up on the screen really nothing okay even though everything was working a few seconds ago as you have seen but once you connect the tesla nothing works because we have to make a change all right so now since nothing is working i'm going to shut down the computer one more time and i believe it's the first time i shut it down now well, the second time now i'm going to disconnect only the power that comes from the power supply to the tesla and we're going to try again okay so we're going to turn on the machine and the same is going to happen. Nothing is going to be shown on the screen. Everything is uh, all the time is going to be dark. All right. So I'm going to um, shut down the computer one more time. And now we're going to remove the Tesla because we don't have access to Windows, to Linux, to the BIOS, nothing. And there is a change we need to do in the BIOS. OK, so I'm going to remove the Tesla very carefully over here it's stuck over there so at the end i was able to uh, at the end i was able to get it out now i'm going to connect back the power the lights are going to be on one more time and we're going to turn on the machine so here we go now uh once it is working as you can see on the right i'm pressing on the keyboard the dell key to access the bios so the video is sped up in this part. You see the ASUS logo, and after a few seconds, we're going to be in the BIOS. So allow me a few seconds to make a to zoom in. 
And this is how the regular ASUS uh, UFI BIOS looks. If you can see at the top left, you can see my model, the BIOS, and all that. I have done videos in the past on which I show how to upgrade the BIOS version on an ASUS machine. If you're interested in that, you can click on the top right of this screen. So once we're in the BIOS, we, are, we have to go to advanced mode, as you can see at the bottom, or press F7 on the keyboard. Once there, we have to look for advanced. And here we have to look for PCI subsystem settings. Once we, we click there, it's going to show us a few options, as you can see over here. And the one we are interested in is above 4G decoding. So as you can see, it's disabled and we have to enable it. Once you enable that, you don't have to do any other changes. From here, we go to exit. And next, we're going to go to save changes and reset. So this is going to save what we have changed and restart the computer. You want to do it? Yes. After that, the endpoint is going to restart. So I was going to shut it down, but I wanted to show you that now we can access uh, Windows. And now I'm going to log in. Oh, well, I'm going to shut it down, I'm sorry, because we have to install the Tesla now. We have enabled the 4G decoding, and now we can install the Tesla, and it should work. So as you can see, it's shut down for the fourth time, I think. I disconnected it from the power. And here is the Tesla one more time in all its glory. Now we're going to install it one more time. So allow me a few seconds to do it. Right there, it fits. I, I had uh, I, I had some problems trying to install it again. Now this part for some reason took me some I don't know one minute or so. The videos sped up on all this part because I was not being able to connect. <laughs> the power to the Tesla. Once I have done that, we are going to try again. So I'm missing a screw over there for the for the Tesla. Now I'm going to connect the power supply one more time. You can see the lights. I'm going to turn on the machine and allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera so you can see if it works or not. Now after a few seconds, the video is not sped up here. We're waiting the real time that it took to actually show me the ASUS logo. We don't press anything here. We are not going to go to the BIOS. We need to go to Windows now. Um, from here, the video is sped up. Now you can see the Windows uh, login screen. We're going to type our password. And from here, we, are, we have access to Windows one more time. Now we're going to go uh, where we went before, which is Device Manager. You can see it over there from the last time. And now you can see that the Tesla V100 is being recognized by Windows. So we have to enable that setting in the BIOS to, to be able to see or the Tesla to work correctly. So I'm going to, um, uh, after that, while this is working, we can close this. And I'm going to leave in the description below the link for the drivers for the Tesla, which is this one over here. As of today, this is the latest version, but when you see this video, there might be um, better versions, better drivers for the Tesla K, for the Tesla V100. So that's what I wanted to show in this video, guys. Maybe you want to watch one of these videos now. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.